So today we're looking at how to add and run VBA code in Microsoft Excel. So VBA or Visual Basic for Applications Code is a programming language that allows you to automate tasks, create custom functions, and build sophisticated applications within Excel. We're going to start by showing you how to get to the VBA code editor and then show you how to build a couple quick scripts as well as record a macro. So to get to the VBA code editor, we're going to go to the developer tab. And if you do not see this tab up here, then go to files, options, and go to customize ribbon, and then make sure this developer tab is checked. And then once that is done, then you'll see the visual basic editor right here. Let's go ahead and select that. And then what we can do here to insert some new code is insert and module. Now here we have a module where we can enter some code. We're going to start with something very basic. And so you start by sub and then we'll name this. And so we'll just say insert text. And then we'll go to our next line and then we're going to manually set a range. So range and then let's do C4 and then we're going to set the value. And let's do hello world. So let's go ahead and save this. And then we can actually just hit run right here. And so there you see that text. And so if we go back to our basic editor, we can change this to something else. We can also set a different range. And so you can probably see how you can use this to do multiple automations in your project. So let's assume we save this and we're done with it. How do you run it from here now? So we can go back to our Visual Basic Editor, and then let's assume that isn't open right now. We can click Run, and then just select that macro name there, hit Run, and it'll run again. So let's go ahead and delete that just to make sure that we can see when it's running. And so run again, and there we go. That's one way to run it, uh, but let's go ahead and close our code editor for now and look at how to run it from our Excel sheet without having to go into the editor. So an easy way to do that is insert and we'll do a button here. And so we'll just draw a quick button and then we're going to click on that macro name, insert text. And then we can simply now click on this and see hello world. So let's look at editing this real quick. So first of all, we can set the text here and we could just say insert just like that. And now this will run anytime we click on that button. Let's look at modifying this, this just a little bit. Let's go back to our Visual Basic module. Click on this, and then let's set this to actually the date. And so now inserts today's date. But to make this a little more useful, let's go back to our editor. And then instead of selecting a particular range, we're going to pick active cell. And so now when we save this, we can go ahead and close out. And then we'll notice wherever we have our cursor, we can insert that. And so that could be a date, it could be text, whatever you want. So it could be your name, for example, if you want to just be able to insert your name with a click of a button rather than having to type it out each time. So that's a way to access the Visual Basic from there. Let's also look at recording a macro. And so let's say we have our date here and so we want to just make a little field let's say today's date and we want to be able to format this whenever we get to a new section so we're going to go ahead and record a macro let's first of all click relative reference because i want this to work wherever we are so keep that in mind if you want to format in a whole tab you can leave off the relative reference Otherwise, if you want something where you can format a particular part and then move somewhere else and have that same formatting, we want to use relative. I'm going to check that real quick. And then we're going to click on record macro. And then we're going to call this format section. And you can even add a shortcut key if you like. And then make sure that there is no spaces in the macro name. And then let's go ahead. It's recording now. So we're going to go ahead and just set some quick settings here. So. Go ahead and change background in this. We could set on width here. 
So we do 15, for example. Center these. We change font. Hit bold. Make it a little bigger. Maybe 13. And something like that. And then we can go back and click stop recording. And now let's add a button for this one. So insert and do format section. And then let's change our text here. And now we can click somewhere, hit format, and it immediately formats that section. And so then we could say today's date, insert, and then insert the date just like that. So that is a very basic introduction to VBA coding in Microsoft Excel. And as you can probably tell, it is a powerful tool that can help you to automate tasks, streamline your workflow, and unlock the full potential of Excel. And another easy way to take your Excel skills to the next level is using the suite of software tools offered by Proficient. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.